So let's have a look at managing indexes. Indexes are spe special data structures that store a subset of data in a way that allows the database to find and retrieve rows much faster than scanning the whole entire table, okay? So they improve query performance whenever we're doing like maybe a search, it's good to implement or add or manage indexes in that specific table that you're searching in and it speeds up that data retrieval. So it's very efficient, mainly in a search functionality. Uh, in our case, we'll have uh, to such we'll have such function of uh, functionalities in our app so we'll really need this so in our project we'll give uh, the user the option to search a parking area uh, so that so what we need is to add an index in the parking area table specifically the name column because that's where mostly they'll be searching the name of a parking area right so to do that we'll so to do that, we head over to the SQL editor. That's where we'll get to set our, our index in our parking area. So I think I can proceed to, well, let me just create a new query. And all I need is the create command. And we're going to define the index and give it the name idx parking name on we specify the table which is a parking area and specify the column that we specifically want to set the index on which is name as simple as that so let's execute or run this statement uh so relation parking area does not exist okay so uh let me see if i set the schema let's try and there we have it so we had we hadn't set the schema specific schema so it was going to search the parking area in the public the default schema so that's successful so we'll just set an index on this specific column and we'll get to explore more now when we go head over to the app level and perform a search functionality or create a query that inter that executes um, a search functionality just a brief one on joins or relationships, which we have mentioned so many times when creating our tables. Uh, since we set up our foreign keys while creating our tables, this part is kind of done. And the data API seamlessly will detect the relationships between the tables based on the foreign these foreign keys that we have added in the specific tables. So Superbase supports both one-to-many joins and many-to-many -many joins. So using the data API from our app, we'll get to see how to fetch data from the different uh, tables.